by the name of Evan Brown. I'm from the Bronx. I've been producing for a while now. Uh, I started taking it serious when I was 16. I got accepted to the Grammy Foundation, and that's when I knew like it was like seriously time to like go forth with music production. So I just came off a Smokers Club tour with G Herbo, Smoke Dizza, Cameron, The Underachievers. Uh, it was an amazing tour. I got to showcase my music. I put together a live band, a uh, four-piece band, and played the music that I actually produced. A lot of uh, artists who I work with, Ja Rule, Puff, Murder Mook, Fat Joe. Shout out to you, So Love, man, the whole Texas movie. But the first day I met him, man, he, he came out. I can definitely say Evan is, he's, he's a, He's a talented cat, man, because he came out with that fire. So ever since we linked, man, every time we met, he just always had fire. So the day we actually started working, I actually did three songs, knocked them right out of the gate, knocked them, knocked them out, man, got them done, and they just turned into classics. So the next time I seen him, man, I did three more. And then the next time I seen him, it was a lot of cats in the studio and everything was crazy, but I was still like focused, and I think it kind of just turned into that, and it kind of went from just actually doing beats to actually like a friendship and you know what I'm saying brotherhood and then we went on tour and shit like that so we started building a better bond and now we're here now we we on a on a come up of taking over the world with this music I need everybody to go check out PSA you so love PSA it's on iTunes right now the videos on vivo uh, a pivotal moment for me uh, was interning at bad boy when I had the uh, opportunity to meet puff and uh, you know, actually sit in the session and actually see how music is actually made and actually produced and composed. Processing of how he thinks is just totally different. So to absorb that, it, it was like actually, a, it was an amazing experience. So once I seen that, it was like, all right, I know I belong here and this is something that I wanna do. So my overall goal with this uh, right now is to actually just showcase the producer. Because a lot of people don't know exactly what the producer does because it's always overshined by the artist. So my whole perspective is the producer is the new artist. And uh, you know, just rock these shows, do shows, you know, do merch with pins and you know, show your swag, everything. I'm just trying to take it to the next level and make a lane for producers to follow. There's no other feeling like when you're actually on these stages in a different state performing in front of people who actually come out to see you. It's like, it's a dream come true. Because these are things that, back in the day, I used to actually, you know, dream about making a beat or actually performing on the stage. The vibe is, is like no other, no other. And I love, I, I love doing what I do. I want to give a shout out to Soul, you know, for us rocking out, you know, being in a dungeon and rocking out and making, you know, these shows and these tours come to fruition. I want to give a shout out to Randy. I want to give a shout out to whoever has been in, on this journey with me. I just want to say thank you for rocking with me. And it's only going to get better in the future. Peace excellence.